Alright, welcome back YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Madden Money Shot. I bring you another Madden 18 preview. I got my top 10 teams that you want for CFM. This is the teams, if you if you haven't followed the NFL, these are the teams that made the most improvements, had the best drafts, had the most free agents, had the best free agents, you name it. These are the teams that are on the rise uh, that you want to pick so that you can get an advantage over everybody else so that when you you're, you know, you know start your CFM with your friends that you have the best chance to win multiple, multiple, multiple Super Bowls or whatever your goal is, man. Even if you're not a guy going to win Super Bowls, if, even if you're just trying to get to the playoffs, or beat your friends and you're happy with that these are the teams that are going to give you the opportunity to do that so i'm going to go ahead I, I did two previous videos i ranked every team from 30 all the way to here so if you didn't see those videos if you're just checking out the top 10 now and you want to see where your favorite team ranks check this out i'll pop up some links right now so you can watch uh those other videos to see where those teams rank but i got the top 10 today this is the last one so what i'm going to do first of all is i'm going to start off with number 10 Number 10, I got the Giants. This is a team here that definitely made uh, some, some major improvements in the offseason this year, as long as Eli Manning does what he's supposed to do. This dude a little bit old, which is one of the negatives to this team. If you're starting off in a franchise, you do have Geno Smith here. They also drafted a guy named Davis Webb. So you could work one of those guys up. I would suggest it right away. The running back situation is a little bit of a problem too. A lot of people thought they were gonna get um, a running back in the free agent market. They did draft Wayne Gallman. I don't know what he's gonna look like. So keep an eye out for him if you're a runner. This is not a team for you, but if you're a passer, this is a team for you. Odell Beckham, obviously. Brandon Marshall, six foot four. Might be a little bit slow now, but you know what? He's still six foot four. Sterling Shepard, a perfect, perfect slot guy. But if you are running five wide, you could make Evan Ingram, who's a tight end, one of your wide receivers. He's that good of a receiver. And if you're using him as a tight end, he's an amazing tight end. 90 speed here. That should be about what he is. Six foot three. Will Ty is also a really good tight end, too. Like I said, this is a straight passing team, with the exception of their offensive line, which is not a good pass blocking offensive line. You're going to have to fix this. Defense Defense, however, brings them right back up. Jason Pierre-Paul, uh, Olivia Vernon, uh, Damon Harrison, obviously didn't get you much in the pass rushing department. Dalvin Tomlinson, they picked them up in the second round out of Alabama. Uh, the linebackers are kind of average. It's a bunch, bunch of guys, really. But you got some decent speed at linebacker. Um, I don't trust them to play on their own, though. But then you go to the secondary, boom, right back to being nasty. You know what I'm saying? This is a passing team, offense and defense. Pass defense, pass offense. And that's really what a lot of people are gearing their team to be anyway. So they're set to go. Donald Rogers Camardi is one of my favorite cornerbacks in this game, easily. Janoris Jenkins, he's okay. He's a good player. Uh, Eli Apple, I think he's a little bit better just because he's taller. And then Landon Collins is obviously one of the best safeties in the league right now. So your whole secondary is stacked. Uh, really good team to start this list off. Number nine, I got the Chiefs. But now you at least have a franchise quarterback. Start this guy over Alex Smith day one. Hell of an arm, work it up. You know what I'm saying? He's got one of the strongest arms in the game. Uh, Spencer Ware, good running back. CJ Spiller, good running back. Chandrick West, good running back. So they're loaded at the back position. Uh, going to the receivers, they're loaded there too. Jeremy Macklin, Tyreek Hill, one of the fastest players in the game. Chris Connolly, man, this dude is an athlete. Uh, the tight ends are pretty good too. Travis Kelsey, obviously one of the best tight ends in the game. Then you got guys that people don't know about, like Demontre, Demetrius Harris. Their offensive line is a little bit lacking, but there's some decent guys. Mitch Morris is one of the stronger centers in the game. Then you go to the defensive line. They have more in the linebackers' uh, positions than anything. Chris Jones, uh, a good uh, defensive tackle conversion. Outside linebackers that you can make defensive events like Justin Houston, D Ford. You can't start all these guys at linebacker. Uh, Derek Thomas. The quarterbacks are really good. With Marcus Peters, definitely a star quality corner. Um, I would say the next best one's probably Steve Nelson. Uh, uh, probably Philip Gaines, to be honest. Six foot, 93 speed, work him up. Then you go to the safeties. Ron Parker, you could play him at safety or you could play him at corner. He's that, he's that type of player, 90 speed. Eric Berry, uh, a monster. But their whole team is pretty much set for starters. Next up, we got number eight, who that? The Saints. This is a team that's definitely on the rise. They made some really great moves in the offseason. Uh, I would expect that to translate in real life, but in the game, even more. Drew Brees, still keeping it going. You probably got a couple years out of him. Then you got Adrian Peterson. What? Adrian Peterson? What? Everybody said that when Adrian Peterson got traded or got picked up free agent. Mark Ingram, still a really good player, too. Uh, he's one of my favorite, favorite players for a long time. Uh, Alvin Kamara, a really good pickup. So you're three deep at running back. I don't think his speed's going to be that low. But you're three deep at running back. Um, so trade one of those guys. Uh, then you go to receiver. They traded away one of their better ones, but they still have a lot. Uh, Michael Thomas is a monster. Uh, Willie Sneed, really good player. Ted Ginn, still fast. Good slot guy. Brandon Coleman, six foot six. You can work on him. Uh, tight end, Kobe Flanders has been one of my favorite tight ends for a long time. A really good uh, receiving tight end. I think Josh Hill is a pretty good receiving tight end too. So you're, you're set there. Your offensive line set. They're deep to the point where they got backups that could start. Teron Armstead, uh, really good player. Max Unger, uh, Larry Warford, and then Zach Street. And they also drafted Ryan Ramchek. So they got, like I said, backups that could start for them. Uh, for other teams, trade somebody. You know what I'm saying? That's what the point of this is. You could trade these guys and get value 
um, on your team. Going to the defensive line, Gort, uh, Cameron Jordan's really good. Nick Fairley, Sheldon Rankins is a young guy you could work up. But a couple years ago, Steve on Anthony, a uh, decent player. You can see the speed. Craig Robinson is a pretty is a decent player. Alex is lonely draft pick this year. These are guys you're all gonna have to work up. Going back to the corners though, this is where they start getting good again. Marshawn Lattimore, you know what I'm saying? Best cornerback in the draft this year. Six foot one, 93 speed. That's about what he's gonna be. David Brew, not six foot one, 90 speed. Those are in Madden. If you're playing cover three, that's a lockdown looking corner on both on both sides. And then you go to the sec the, the safeties. Von Bell, rookie from last year, pretty decent player. And uh, Kenny Vaccaro's, you know, a little on the slower side, but if he's a strong safety playing down the box, he's really solid. Coming in number six, we got the Steelers. Uh, they got an old quarterback. That's why they're a little bit lower than you might think. I mean, if they had a young quarterback, they might be higher up. But Ben is not going to be around much longer. He's not very mobile either. Uh, running backs, Le'Veon Bell, star-studded back. Niles Davis, really good back. Um, ja James Conner is a power back. We'll have to see what his speed is. Here it's pretty low, but I don't think it's going to be what it is when the game comes out. Uh, but that will determine a lot. Antonio Brown, kind of short for a number one receiver. He's obviously very good, but I would like somebody like that in my slot. Martavis Bryant, though, 6'4", monster. Uh, Sammy Coates, he's a speedster, can't catch a ball to save his life, but I don't know if that's going to happen in, the, in, um, in Madden. Juju Smith, second round pick. Here's a guy I could probably put outside as well. You could trade some of these guys. Justin Hunter, Darius Hayward Bay, they all just have height and speed. You could probably get some for these guys if you trade them to other users. The offensive line's really solid, though. Villain the way of a Foster, Pouncey, the Castro, one of the better lines in the league. So the linebackers, though, you got plenty of them. TJ Watt, first round pick. Bud Dupree is a monster. Ryan Shazier, same thing. Um, you know, he's just one of the best middle linebackers to use in this game. Going to the secondary, though, they got a couple of decent corners. Ross Cockrell, Artie Burns, uh, young corners. Uh, going to the safeties, Mike Mitchell, pretty decent hit power safety. And then Sean Davis, another rookie from last year. Really good speed, good size. Coming in at number five, I got the Dallas Cowboys. This team is still rated very high considering how many players they lost. Dak Prescott, young, cheap. Ezekiel Elliott, star player. All these running backs, really. Morris, McFadden, they could all play. Uh, going to the wide receivers, Des Bryant, Cole Beasley, I don't know, I think his speed's a little bit lower than it should be. Uh, Terrence Williams, tight ends, I think that James Hanna is the best tight end out of all of them. He's a great blocker, great speed. Wins is kind of there, I think he's a backup now, but he's a good player. Offensive line, obviously everybody knows about how good their offensive line is. Looking at the defense, I mean, Taco Charlton was their first round pick, so Marcus Lawrence is a good player. Randy Gregory, I'm not sure if he'll be in the game because of his latest drug suspension. Charles Tapper is a monster, though. I use this guy's silver card in my salary line. I love that dude. He gets pressure almost every play. Uh, Stephen Paya, Malik Collins, you got some decent uh, defensive tackles to stop the run. Dalen Smith, he's still a good user back, uh, user middle linebacker. And uh, Sean Lee's obviously a really great player. Getting a little bit older, though. Uh, then you go to the corners. Orlando Skandrick's still pretty good. Um, I'm not sure, you know, his speed's going down quite a bit. Anthony Brown, 95 speed rookie. I mean, that, what, what, you can't go wrong there. Nolan Carroll stinks. Uh, Chidobi Wuze, rookie. They also drafted Jordan Lewis, so those guys you can work up. They have a lot of corners that you can work on to make starters. Byron Jones, that's the perfect height and speed combination for a safety. Coming in at number four, I got the Eagles. I'm glad I waited to do this list because I wouldn't have had them this high if I had did this list before they drafted Legar or before they signed Legarrette Blunt. Starts off with the quarterback Carson Wentz. You know he's got all the attributes. He's got speed, so you can you can do whatever offense you want with him. Uh, Legarrette Blunt that gives him a pounder. They got some outside runners with uh, Smallwood, Pumphrey. These guys are, are, are speeds to the outside. I think Pumphrey would be a little bit faster in that rating. Also on Jeffrey, you know what I'm saying they pick up the number one free agent Jordan Matthews, another six foot three guy. Torrey Smith, a speedster, stretch the defense. Terrell Green Beckham, six foot five. He stinks in real life. Zach Ertz, top notch tight end. Uh, Brent Selleck stinks. He's really slow. Trey Burton is a monster. He's one of my favorite tight ends in this game. The offensive line's loaded too. Jason Peters. You know, majority of their starters are over 80s. Uh, the defensive line's really solid. The front seven in general. Brandon Graham, uh, Derek Burnett, their first round pick. He should be easy to work up. Uh, Fletcher Cox, Timmy Jernigan, they brought over from the Ravens, so they should have good run-stopping DTs. Nigel Bradham's a really good linebacker. Jordan Hicks is a young, upcoming star. And Michael Kendricks, he's kind of going down in real life, but his athleticism, his hip power, his speed is still top-notch. He's still one of the best games in Madden. Sidney Jones... Uh, Ron Brooks is actually pretty decent because he's 92 speed. Jalen Mills from last year uh, had a really good rookie year, so he should get a little bit of a boost. Razzle Douglas, um, this guy was a third round corner, but he's six foot two. I don't know why it says he's six foot there. He's, safeties are um, 81 overall. Rodney McLeod, this dude's a, a good player, nothing great. And then Malcolm Jenkins, who's a really, really good player. Coming number three, I got the uh, Seattle Seahawks. This is the quarterbacks in the game, and Russell Wilson. Uh, running backs, they added a bunch of guys. Hey, Lacey, they already have Rawls, uh, CJ Procise, and Doug Baldwin is, is, is a really good receiver. Jermaine Kearse, TJ Lockett, Paul Richardson. These guys are all fast. Jimmy Graham, Luke Wilson. These guys 
are, you know, you could you could trade Jimmy Graham and start with Wilson. He's got the athletic ability to be a starting tight end. Uh, offensive line, though, a little bit of a problem. They went out and tried to sign a couple guys. They drafted a couple guys, but that's still one of the biggest issues is their offensive line is really weak. The defense, however, we all know is still a legion of boom. Uh, Michael Bennett, Frank Clark, you know I'm saying you got defensive ends, Cliff Avril. Uh, they actually brought Deion Jordan over from uh, Miami, which is interesting. Still a really good athlete. I think he can give you some value. Malik McDow McDonald or McDowell, whatever. Uh, that was one of the first picks. So then you go to the linebackers, and it's a little bit incomplete. Bobby Wagner is obviously one of the best middle linebackers in the game. And then at KJ Wright, Kevin, Pierre, Louis, really good player. Uh, 90 speed Dewey McDonald. Uh, Richard Sherman, uh, Deshaun Shedd. Uh, six foot two corner, you know what I'm saying? They got height, which is what you want. Jeremy Lane's still there, decent slot corner. Uh, Paris Cox they brought over. I was actually a huge fan of him. I'd put him in the slot, uh, but he's a little bit slower now. Shaquille Griffin is a guy that they drafted. Safeties, Earl Thomas, Cam Chancellor, enough said. Coming to number two, we got the Atlanta Falcons, the Super Bowl losing Atlanta Falcons. I think in real life, they're probably gonna dip quite a bit. Coming to number two, we got the Atlanta Falcons, the Super Bowl losing Atlanta Falcons. I think in real life, they're probably gonna dip quite a bit because that loss was devastating. But in Madden, they're gonna be loaded. They went to the Super Bowl, so you know the ratings are gonna be legit. Matt Ryan's a definitely a good, court, a good quarterback. Devontae Freeman and uh, Tevin Coleman give you two really good running backs. Receivers, Julio Jones, best receiver in the game, hands down. Um, Taylor Gabriel, speedster. Uh, Austin Hooper's a really good young tight end. Their offensive line is loaded. The defensive ends are great. The Karis McKinley they just picked up in the draft first round. Um, I don't see, you know, they, they have uh, Vic Beasley as a linebacker, but I would put him at defensive end. He's a monster. Rashad Hegeman's really good defensive tackle. Grady Jarrett. Deion, I mean, the linebackers are loaded. Deion Jones, obviously one of the best young user middle linebackers in the game. In Madden, they have players everywhere. Desmond Trufant, Robert Alford, only, you know, short, a little short, no big deal. Jalen Collins, probably a better outside guy. But they're loaded in the secondary, too. Ricardo Allen, I wish he was taller, but he's really fast, good player. And then Keanu Neal, one of the better enforcers, young, big hitter and coming in number one we got the Raiders we got the Oakland they're not the Oakland Raiders anymore this the Las Vegas Raiders uh number one even though they're still playing in Oakland that's gonna be awkward uh yeah but there's I mean who can deny this team is just loaded with talent uh they got Derek Carr one of the best quarterbacks in the game they went and got Marshawn Lynch even though I know that's not Marshawn Lynch uh he, bringing him back he's gonna be a thumper and then they got some good young speedy uh running backs to compliment him take your pick Jameez Alawale, that's probably one of the best uh, fullbacks in the game. You know what I'm saying? Most people don't bring up fullbacks, but they have a really good fullback on top of it. The receiving court, Crabtree, Cooper, uh, Cordell Patterson. Did you, did you hear that they got Cordell Patterson? How do you know that? Uh, and Johnny Holmes is a really good receiver too, by the way. Just a speedster. Jared Cook. I've been waiting for this team to get a good tight end, man. It's about time they got a good tight end. Uh, Jared Cook's going to complete that offense, and he's an athlete. The offensive line's loaded. Uh, I think realistically they might be, have the best offensive line in the league. Defense, they got Khalil Mack. Everybody knows him. He's a he's a monster. It's Irvin, um, you know, they're a little bit hurting. And a lot of great teams seem to have a lack of position players at linebacker for some reason. Alden Smith, though. And then in the corner, you got Sean Smith, David Amerson, Gary and Conley. They're loaded there. That's very important to have players at that position. Reggie Nelson, safety. Uh, you also got Carl Joseph, a big hitter. And then they drafted a six foot four uh, speedster by the name of Obi Mella Fam Wu. That's it. If you guys want to see more Madden 18 previews, let me know uh, by hitting the like button. I'm going to keep doing them. Uh, I like doing them. I think it's important for you guys to know, you know, going into the next season what's out there. Other than that, if you disagree with anything that I put in my ranking system, you like somebody else, you think somebody else should have been number one or two or whatever, leave in the comment section. Uh, but be prepared for me to come back at you uh, with my response because I put a lot of thought in this for real. So that's it. Thanks for watching, Mad Money Shut Out. Hey, you made it to the end of the video, which means either you like the content you're watching or you fell asleep halfway through. Either way, if you hit the subscribe button, you can catch all my videos now releasing daily. Thanks for watching.